Good evening. How are you? Hi, hi, hi. teacher. Hello. How are you today? Good, and you? <coughs> hi, teacher. Thank you. you. Fine, fine. Nice. Vamos a ver. Okay. okay, tell me present as I call you, right? May 9th. Time is flying. Definitely. Good evening, Time is sure. flying. Good evening. How are you? I am fine. Fine. Thank you, teacher. And you? Excellent. Fine, fine, too. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Beatriz, I hope you get better. Vamos a ver, please tell me present. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Ahí está. Perfect, perfect. Adriana, Marcela. Present teacher. Nice. Ana Alicia. Present teacher. Carolina. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Claudia no hay, no está. Diego. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elvin Alexander. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Present teacher. Joanna. Joanna, Joanna. Jonathan. Present. Jose Alfredo. Present teacher. Karen Elena. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Karen Stephanie, no. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Ok. Carla Patricia. Present. Luis Edgardo. <coughs> Present teacher. Ok. Luis Mauricio. Luis Mauricio. Nubia. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. Tell me, Karen Elena. Present teacher. No sé si ya había pasado mi nombre. Ah, va, ya, ya regreso, ya regreso por allí. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Oscar. Present teacher. Okay. Beatriz. Present teacher. Nice. Eh, Luis, Luis Mauricio. Karen Stephanie. Karen Elena. Present teacher. Okay. Joana. Joana, Joana, no hay Joana. Claudia Carolina. Claudia Carolina. Ok. Faltan Luis Mauricio. 
Karen, Stephanie, Joanna y Claudia. Mm. Veo menos gente de cada vez que pasó. Acabo de tener 21, después tenía 20 y hoy 19. Se están perdiendo. Ahí está. <ríe> ¿Qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? Vaya. Ok. Bueno. There we go. Cuéntenme, how was the weekend? Were you celebrating? No yet. Until tomorrow. Tomorrow, teacher. Tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Tomorrow you don't work, right? Me no. Okay, nice. We have no classes tomorrow, remember, right? No I have to work. Oh, so sorry, Carla, really? <laughs> yes. Mande a trabajar a los hombres. <laughs> yeah, take the day off. <laughs> uh, okay. Bueno. Where do you work, Carla? In a construction company. In a construction. Mm. Okay. Bye. Muy bien. In a construction. Sí, construction ni modo, vea. Sí. No way. No way. <laughs> Pero mande a trabajar a los hombres. <risa> si van a trabajar también que trabajen los hombres y que le den el día libre a las mamás ok, bueno a celebrar mañana si es posible ¿verdad? aprovechar de dormir hasta las hasta las ocho <risa> hasta las ocho hasta las nueve, no, que va los que tienen niños chiquitos por gusto aunque tengan el día libre day, teacher? ¿ah? Do you believe in Mother's Day? Of course. I don't believe in Mother's Day. I celebrate Mother's Day. Ah, okay. Yeah, my mom is not alive anymore, but I know my students have their mothers and I know they need to understand that it's a very important celebration and that they have to, to, help, to give something, right? when the mother is alive, because when the mother is there, there is nothing you can do for her. There is nothing you can take to the cemetery because she won't see it. I used to give my mom flowers when she was alive. Uh, and she loved flowers, but she was like, very happy whenever I gave her flowers. So every time I had the opportunity to give her flowers, I did it when she was alive. I have never gone to the cemetery to put her flowers. I know she won't see them. She won't see the flowers, what for, right? So if, you, if your mother is still alive, give her flowers now. When she's there, she won't see it. She won't see the flowers. So. That's what I think. So that's why I don't visit her in the cemetery. I visited her in her house almost every day. But in the cemetery, mm -mm. no. What for go cry in, in the cemetery is like, like nothing, right? So I'm happy with the people who have their mother and, and I celebrate them, I celebrated with them. I know I had the best mother of all, and I enjoyed her the most I could. And I spent most all the time that I could with her. And well, now she's in heaven. I know she's enjoying there and she's having fun. And probably she's watching me, I don't know. <laughs> but she is having fun there. And I know that if she could see me, she would say yes. 
Because she always said, I love flowers. Give me flowers now. Later, no. What for? And, and that's what I think. So I learned like that, right? So if you want to give somebody flowers, give the person flowers now. They will love them. I love flowers. I'm crazy about flowers. Yeah. That's why with my students today, we were making flowers with them. So they could take a flower made by them to the mother. So they say like, happy Mother's Day and give a flower, right? Some of them learn. Some others say, please teacher, do it for me. <laughs> yeah, but that always happens. That always happens. But you see, that's uh, a moment you have to enjoy every moment that is, that is possible, right? that you have, enjoy what you have, and let the others enjoy what they have to. If they, if the children have their mothers, why am I going to tell them no, right? They have to be happy and celebrate with them. So for all of you who are mothers, enjoy it tomorrow, sleep. Go to sleep early, get up late, because you will have the day off. Later on, I'm going to send you the announcement <clears throat> there to the chat. Uh, for you to, to know that tomorrow, for you to remember, right? Because there is always somebody asking, teacher, do I have classes? I say like, no, no, no classes tomorrow. So you can, you can go enjoy, have dinner with your mother or boys with your wife, right? With your mother and enjoy it because tomorrow, no classes. Okay, tomorrow no classes. So uh, that's why we will jump. Uh, remember, I told you the first day of class from collecting grades on Wednesday morning to collecting grades on Thursday morning, right? Because uh, today you do assignment number nine and the number 10 will be until Wednesday because tomorrow, no, right? So until Wednesday, on Wednesday, you complete the assignment number, number 10 and the midterm exam. So don't forget, right? Midterm exam on Wednesday. So at night on Wednesday, I collect the, the, the grades that you have and my list will be happy, it will be complete, okay? <clears throat> uh, for some of you that were like a little behind last week, remember to finish, to comply with all the, the necessary things there and to be ready because now you have more challenge, right? You have the unit 10 and unit 10, no man. It's homework number 10 <laughs> of unit number two and the midterm exam that is very easy. I already checked it and I already did it. So it's very, very easy. <coughs> you won't have any problems with the exam. It's very easy. So have fun and you can do it tomorrow that you don't have classes, right? Okay. Well, I'm going to share uh, the presentation. We have a basically a review today, right? Because we have been talking a lot about the present simple and today is not like the exception, right? So we will continue talking about the present simple. Okay, look at these questions. Who interviews future employees in your company? Who interviews? Check this. Every time we have a question with who, the verb will be in third person singular. Yeah. Who, who interviews future employees? Who arrives before at work? Who opens the company? Who closes the company? Who cleans the building? Who, mm, who writes reports? who sends emails, so you write S. That's um, like a rule. Because who 
is considered their person, right? So every time you make a question with whom, you add this. Hmm? Who interviews future employees? Who cleans? Who washes? Who arrives? Who leaves? Yeah, yes. Okay, so that's the first question you're going to ask. And then you're going to list five activities you do in a regular day. What? Oh, so sorry, Rosy. Okay, so list five activities you do in a regular day. Okay. I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to discuss with your partners, answer the question, and list the activities that you do. Uh, remember, you're in your manual, right? This is in your manual. This is page uh, 25, and these are the questions we have at the beginning. Page 25. Questions. No questions about the questions? <laughs> okay, no? Nice. Nice, nice. Okay. Hey, qué bonito. Ya vemos Mapi. Muy bien, muy bien. Hmm. Did Mauricio arrived? Okay, there you go. 21. Okay, I'm going to make groups of three. Okay, very good. There you go. Discuss the questions and list the five activities that you regularly do. Oh. Try to join. Try to join Nubia. <laughs> okay. Uh, in your company. Las tiene. Si no se las paso. No, en el manual dijo, ¿verdad? Yes. We, who interview future employees in your company? In my company, human resource manager is interview of the future employees. Okay. In <clears throat> my company is HR, the eh, entrevista or no, como sería? Interview. Um, interview the new employee. Y next, the, uh, the manager. Y okay. three y el bueno y el tercer paso sería de director uh -huh. and first in my company uh, human resource manager second manager and cómo se diría teacher lo mandan a prueba de polígrafo para tercera prueba um, déjeme, déjeme ver in English Polygraph test, uh -huh. testing. I guess. Uh -huh. Polygraph set, set for polygraph testing. Les hacen por el polígrafo. Okay. Oh, interesante. A mí me la hicieron como a los ocho años después. Polygraph <laughs> test. En serio. ¿A los cuántos años, Rosy? A los ocho. De se estaban dando normalidades ahí y dijeron que, que o sea, nos mandaron a hacer las pruebas y quien saliera afectado, pues ni modo, fuera quien fuera, se iba. Gracias a Dios salí bien. Uy, qué feo. Y desde qué entonces, feo. este, uno de los requisitos es para ingresar ahí la prueba del polígrafo. Uh, 
Wow. Uh, interesante. Wow. Uh -huh. no, Aunque este... sí, pero hay cosas que uno no se imagina y sí suceden en los lugares de trabajo. Sí. I thought that didn't exist anymore. Uh -huh. Yes. Así que sería entonces ser ser yes okay. three three uh, sen sí sería ahora sen the polygraph test yes mm -hmm. three filters filters como filtros Fil sí verdad filters 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 and three filters and one filter is HR, two filters manai, uh, the manager, and the three filter is the director. La, la más fácil con la el, con el director ya el área. Mm. Wow. Porque sí, o sea, el primero. Eh, es como que preguntan eh, el, el recurso humano es lo que ve todo su historial académico ¿verdad? y las pruebas de psicológicas Who, the manager. Test de, no recursos humanos human resource Ajá. el primero es resource. solo ve eh, HR solo ve eh, cosas eh, pruebas psicológicas y, y resultado, ¿verdad? De los tests, de los tests. El segundo. No polígraf test. No, 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 no polígraf test. Ok. No, no, no. Y two filters y capacita de employment. Eh, de test de numeric, de test eh, eh, reacción. Reaction. Reaction de eh, reaction de problem de problems y, y ven cuál es su reacción dependiendo del puesto mm. y así pasa el tercer filtro que hasta casi que contratado ya el director ya se encarga más de la parte humana que que hace eh, what is the different um, eh, hobbies o eh, eh, what no, what number the family eh, name the father the mother um, in in different eh, eh, como conocer sería conocer the to know the, the, the employee yes mm -hmm. ya yeah, ya se encarga como de ver quién es la persona en sí que, que se va a contratar bro. Esos son los tres filtros que, que se pasan. ¿Y Carolina? No está por ahí Carolina, había ahí. Carolina. No está, ¿verdad? No. Su cuestión. Sería. Su cuestión. Liz, falla. Cristina es un poco más poco de personal. Sí, sí de hecho, que... es una empresa mediana y cuando yo entré era pequeña. En inglés. En inglés, en inglés, en inglés. Ay, sí, te cuesta el inglés. Ay, no. Ay, no, pero es que si se me tiran a hablar en español, nunca me van a agarrar el reto de hablar inglés. And you can do it. Ok, teacher. Mi, ¿cómo se llama? Ese es mi problema. Sí, no. <risa> es como que quiera nadar y no se tire al agua. Ah, no, yo sí me tiro. <risa> Ay, es exactly the same. Uh -huh. Así es que vamos, jump. <risa> jump to the water. Ok, dicho. Carla Patricia. A ver. What question, teacher? Number one. Mm -hmm. In my job, in my work, for example, the interview is a human resource, mm -hmm. but the 
is the second interview is depend the area the people applica how do you say applica apply apply mm -hmm. yeah for example uh cons a restaurant bar uh, sales sales as ventas verdad sales uh -huh. sales sales is depend okay depending on the on the on the account applies the no apply applies the area depende de qué área apliquen mm -hmm. es la segunda entrevista depending on the area okay so yeah. the so the second interview is given by the the supervisor of the area let's say yes okay is there a third interview or just two no uh, only two only two interviews okay good yep good good in the activities uh i regular in my regular day estoy algo ocupada pero sí okay okay a daily minute by zoom <laughs> uh, run all the process uh, oh. in the different computers. <laughs> what else? Mm -hmm. What else? A, make a, a daily report. A daily report. A, what else? What else? Uh, close the close uh, make a daily report and send make and send i just send have a a daily. Daily. i have two observations in question one chicos yes teacher. By, uh, the first one at ah. oscar's company the person who interview allí lleva s s y en la otra En el otro sí lo puse. Y ahí no, sí debe, y ahí no debe llevar a menos que a person, ¿Cuántas personas in, entrevistan, Adriana? Dos. Ah, vaya. Entonces, quítele la S a interview. ¿Por qué, teacher? Porque está hablando en, en plural. Entonces, Ay, es cierto. Sí, sí, es cierto. La entendí. That's, that's why. Okay. Grace, Michelle, didn't tell you... Y la S la lleve... Y la S le, la lleva cuando... Cuando se refiere a un he, she, it, ¿verdad? Exactly. The person. Who interviews un, una persona. <coughs> en cambio, mm. cuando es un they, eh, we, eh, ¿cuál es otro? We, they. Uy. So, esos son con R y el uh -huh. I es... Exactly. Exactly. So we use the third person singular, que son he, she, it. In that case, it takes S, if none. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Another activity, a close. How do you say manualmente? Manually. Man ah, sí, verdad. Manually. Yes. Hi, Hi, teacher. Hi. ¿Cómo How mamá? do you say escanear documentos? Scan, dice. Scan. Scan documents. Scan documents. Scan. Scan documents. Um, what else? Um, bring information for my uh, manager. Mm -hmm. uh, attend calls. Uh, in my case, um, Emitir constancias. How do you say it? Constancia. Con, uh -huh. Constancias de salario. Emitir constancias de salario. Mm. Mm, sorry. I don't know. Uh, Rumor resort, but it's okay. is, is my activity. Issue proof too. of salary. Dice issue proof of salary. Issue proof of salary. Like this, but I don't know if it's it okay. A ver, un dictionary. 
en el que constancia. Sí, pero me parece como um, salary statement. Y otra que me aparece es certificate. Salary certificate. Ajá, issue salary certificate is in, in a case. Well, Elvin, yeah. you list five activities you do in a regular day. Um, in the regular day activities is clean the product, make a salad order, make a salad report, and report the competition, competition, and the other mark on the other merch branch. Okay. Yeah, and you? Um, my five activities. Anna? My five activities are are uh, take care of the students, uh, send emails, send reports, uh, give classes, and um, despachar a los niños. Espérame. De echar a los niños. Take the children out. Lisa, encontré el, el, el constancia de salario como wage. Wage, espérenme, wage qué. Wage report. Porque wage es salario, vea. Como wage report o report of wages. Wage report. Según el word reference. Ok. Porque en los otros me dice salary statement, pero cosa que no le creo yo. Porque suena así como que muy literal. Mm -hmm. Teacher, what are the five activities you do at the at your day regular day? Daily. Daily. Well, Daily. first um I give classes. <laughs> I give classes, I listen to children, I answer questions, I write reports. Um, I prepare classes, I upload videos. Um, well, I take care, they are more than five. <laughs> the, thing, the five things I do, they, they are more than five really. But basically that. Right now we are in evaluation, so we have to listen to children, but at the same time, we have to evaluate the ones that are speaking and we have to check the platform that they are working in the platform and, and giving them a feedback of the development that they are giving, right? That we are having classes and evaluations at the same time. While we are evaluating some groups, we are giving classes to others. So we are preparing classes, uh, giving evaluations, checking evaluations, returning uh, rubrics uh, checked, or returning grades to the children, listening to, to video, uh, watching videos, listening to, to recordings that they send. Um, I hear uh, preparing classes, recording the video, uploading the video, checking the platform that you have worked. In which grade <laughs> do you teach? I work during the day. I work with high school. Mm -hmm. During the day, I work with high school, first and second year of high school. Second. Mm -hmm. first I second. thought you only work with adults. No. 
I work with children too. On Saturday, I asked for children. I have, uh, I think they are beautiful. They are about 10, okay. mm -hmm. about 10 years old. And, and, and the Monday to Friday? From Monday to Friday, the ones I have in the morning, they are 15, 16, 17, because it's first and second year. The ones I have in the afternoon, uh, they are about 13, 13 years old, 12, no, I would say 13, 14 years old. So the ones I see in the afternoon, but on Saturday, I ask for little children. I like little children. Teacher, you are a very busy teacher. Yeah, but I like it. I like it and I and I and enjoy every you work day. in different in different places. In two places. I work in two places. The one that I work uh, during the day is the same in the morning and in the afternoon is the same. It's the same school. And here at night. Mm -hmm. But I like I like working with different edges. It's like a different kind of fun, the one that you have depending on the age, you can do different activities. Mm -hmm. You work with little children, Anna. Yes, I'm, I work with little children, but only that. <laughs> but it's not preparatoria, no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a They have thing. like six years old wow. or seven, six or seven. That's a very difficult age because they are very energetic. They are so cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are very cute. But not for having them four hours in a <laughs> row. <laughs> I prefer big ones. Yeah. They cry, they fight, they laugh, they, they everything. <laughs> yes. Little children are for young teachers. And some of them need, need help to go to the bathroom. I know. Teacher, can you open my cookie? Can you open my can? Can you open my bottle, please? <laughs> Anna, and do you have help in me. the classroom? Excuse me? Do you have help in the classroom? No, I don't. How many children do you have, Anna? I have three groups, like 13 per group at okay. the in the morning we are changing like prepa a prepa b prepa c but because so, of the pandemia mm, yes we divide the the group but normally in normal time how many children do you have 18 hmm. still it's still possible 18 in in every in every group every uh-huh. Uh-huh. You don't spend the four hours with the same group? No. Ah, okay. Yeah, because having four hours with the same group, you have to create a lot. I don't know how <laughs> to say this because we have the 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 schedule from 7:30 to 11 with one with one group, the mm -hmm. same group. From 11 to 2:30 the other group mm -hmm. but in pandemia we have to be less in each classroom shorter so, time uh -huh, so that's why we have three groups three groups now mm -hmm. and less time with each group right yes exactly mm -hmm. the same right now we have only 15 16 students we do not have more Mm -hmm. But normally we have 30, 31, 32. Yeah, that's normally, but, but they are big, so it's not a big thing. I find it more complicated to have a big group of little children. I, I, I don't know, because maybe because um, my professorado was to work with, with teenagers, right? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. So uh, most of the time I work with teenagers and adults, most of the time. But with the little 
babies just on Saturdays. I used to, woo, like when I was young. <laughs> now we have a phenomenon. I don't know, phenomenon? A phenomenon. Mm -hmm. Phenomenon? Yeah. Uh, we spend more time being mom than being teacher because uh, children since pandemia mm -hmm. needs more support. Mm -hmm. in different ways like physically mm -hmm. emotional and miss 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 more than usually they do the, the thing is that they depend more they depend more on somebody they don't want to be alone they feel the scared of being alone and the thing is that as a before it was the mother, the nanny, the, the grandmother, the aunt, everybody at home. But now with the pandemic, they had to be like far of all the people that that could be with them. So mm -hmm. it's only the mommy. Now it's the teacher. So they become more insecure. Mm -hmm. And we are working about it. Yeah. Yeah. We are always saying you can do it. You're a great you have you did a great job you're awesome and give them well it's supposed that we don't have to be to do to give hugs but it's necessary it's very necessary especially with the little ones mm -hmm. even the big ones sometimes they tell you teacher i want to hug you mm -hmm. and you cannot tell them no, no and because... we broke the rules and we broke the rules since the first day that we come get back to school because they need it. Yeah, and it, as you say, we cannot say, no, 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 go away, go away. Yeah. We do not do that. No, the thing is that it's not the same to work with papers than to work with people. And especially if those people are very little, they need yeah. a lot. Yeah, I know. That's why I ask you how many students do you have? Because mm -hmm. it's a big responsibility having little children. It's terrible responsibility. And they they notice everything about you. Mm -hmm. yes. The way you talk, the yes. way you move, the way you uh... and they imitate you. <laughs> <laughs> they imitate you. I want to be like the teacher. I'm the teacher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, that's true. That's true. The thing is that the teacher becomes the role model for them. Mm -hmm. They want to imitate everything. And even to the mothers, little children say, no, the teacher say like this. So the mother can say, no, but do it like, no, 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 because the teacher said that. And for them, what the teacher said is law. So imagine no that's a big responsibility <laughs> but for 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 the last thing mm -hmm. as the as the children's needs hug need hugs and in everything the teachers is the same because we are acostumbrados we used Accustom. to mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, we are used to do that yeah it is bit very difficult, no touch, no say, hey, hi, touch the hair, and no, it being difficult. Yeah, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. But unfortunately, there are many things that are not possible to be done still. But in a couple of months, <laughs> probably, yeah, probably. And what about Don Elvin, Puraji? He has a very difficult job. Yeah, because, what do you uh, do, uh, Elvin? Uh, having a dinner. Oh, so sorry. Buen provecho. Yeah, having, thank you. <laughs> buen provecho, buen provecho. How do you say buen provecho in English? It doesn't exist. So you say mm -hmm. buen appetit. That is not English. Mm -hmm. So you say enjoy your meal, pero enjoy your meal means disfrute sus alimentos. O sea, la palabra sí. Buen provecho no existe. No lo inventaron. No, no hay. 
<laughs> well, I'm going to take you out. I guess everybody's ready now, right? Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Me había quedado atrapada, ¿ya? <laughs> okay. Bueno, let's see. We will move to the to the conversation, but I want to see uh, this. Who interviews employees or future employees in your company? Who? Is there a manager, a coordinator, human resources? Who? Who interviews future employees? Area co coordinator. Okay. Uh -huh. In all the companies is the same? Yes. No, in my case, in my case, first is human resource. Okay. Uh, select the, the best and then uh, the coordinator select the person. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is a, if you have just one backend, uh, but if you have two or three or four, There are uh, interviews uh, for the coordinator and the manager. Okay, okay, nice. By a keep number two, we will use it at the end of the class. Okay, so let's see. Let's go to the conversation. Let's see, yeah. Let's go to the conversation. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day? Coin. Good morning, Marcos. Good morning, Marcos. How, How is, is your day, your going? day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Pretty, pretty good. I, I just finished, finished interviewing, interviewing some, potential some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. Then, then I, I have, have to talk to, to the staff, staff about some change, change in, the in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. I see. I, see. I, I saw, saw some, some people, people in the reception. reception when I came. When I came. Yes. I will schedule some of them tomorrow. Yes, 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 I will schedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. I need, I to, need make to make some, some calls, calls in some, in minutes. some minutes. Anyway, how about you? Anyway, anyway how, how about are you? you? Just the usual. Just, Just the, the usual. usual. Checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. Checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's jobs. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. One more time. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Good morning, Marcos. Good morning, How is Marcos. Day How is the day going? Pretty good. I just finished interviewing some potential employees. Pretty good. Pretty good. I just finished and some, some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. Then I have then to talk have to the staff about the some changes in, change in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. I see. I, some, I see. Some people I saw some in people in the reception when I, when I came. Yes, I reschedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Yes, I 
Yes, yes, I, I yes, have yes, to yes. sum up them tomorrow. tomorrow. Okay. I need to I need make to some, some calls and some minutes. Anyway, how about you? Anyways, how about you? Anyway, solo así. Anyway, how about you? Anyway, how about you? Just the usual. <laughs> Yes, Checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. Checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Okay, now I'm going to be Celia, you are going to be Marcos, okay? Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished listening to the interview and potential employees. Then I have to do a stop about some changes in the schedule. 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 Yes, that's I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, yes. I rescheduled yes, some tomorrow. tomorrow. I need to make some calls some, 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 some minutes. minutes. Anyway, anyway, how about, how about you? you? Just the usual. Checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought I thought ordering the inventory was, was, was Janet's job. job. Okay, now you are Celia, I am Marcos. Ready? One, two, three, go. Good morning, Marcos. How is your How day going? Today going? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yes, it's very good. Yes, it's I just good. finished interviewing some potential employees. Then I had to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. <laughs> I see. Yes, I see. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in, a, in some minutes. Anyway, how about you? Just the usual. Checking that the person that is ready. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Now, check. Schedule. 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 Oh, schedule. Reception. Re reception. Reception. Rescheduled. 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 Anyway. Anyway. anyway, anyway, personnel, 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 inventory, inventory, Janet's job. Okay, do you have any questions here? About vocabulary yes, or meaning? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. As I mean, ordering. Ordering. Ordering, inventory. ordering the inventory. Putting the inventory in order. Right? Ordering. Ordenando el inventario. Ordenando el inventario, exactly. Teacher, el, el, el último dice, bueno, no sé, estoy segura cómo se pronuncia, de Marcos. I thought. I thought. 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 Como es este símbolo. A ver, Maus. But there is a, a pass. <coughs> Como three, three, thumb, thought, thought. Oh. Thought. El thought. Thought. Como cuando usted dice la letra Z en zapa, zapato. ¿Se acuerdan que a uno le.? Entonces ahí no se pronuncia la T. 
¿Cómo no? Fat. Fat. Lo que no suena, lo que no suena es la G. Es como que lo escribiera así, vaya. Pero piensen en, en la Z en español, cuando a uno le decían zapato, zapato, ¿se acuerdan? El zorro, el zapato, soy la. Ah, pues así. <ríe> a mí se me quedó porque como soy la, ¿verdad? Soy la. Ok, entonces, <ríe> thought, thought. 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 Okay. El thought. Es como, como, como la Z en español, pero como la pronunciaban los maestros de antes. Que le decían el caballo y el zorro. Right? Así. Then you say thought. Es un sonido así entre con viento. Thought. Any other question? Yes, teacher. Sí. What is the pronunciation interviewing? Interviewing, yes. Interviewing. La W no suena, es muda. Interviewing. No dice interviewing, right? Sino que interviewing. The W is mute. Interviewing some potential employees. Potential. Any other question? No more? No more. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Now, look at these questions. Discuss the questions. What kind of job does Marcos have? And what are some of his responsibilities? How similar are the activities they do with the ones you do? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to send you in pairs for you to practice the conversation. How many are we? 20. Okay, qué bonito. Okay. I'm going to send you. Entenders. Mm -hmm. I'm going to send you to the groups in, in pairs. I'm going to create again. 11, ¿verdad? The attendance before. Um, the attendance before the group. Ah, sí, sí, sí. Voy a pasar attendance antes de mandarlos. Thank you, David. Vamos a ver. Adriana, Marcela. Adriana. Present teacher. Ana. Present teacher. Carolina Abigail. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Present teacher. Nice. Diego. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elvin. Present teacher. Grace Mitchell. Present teacher. Joanna Ruth. Joanna. No está Joanna hoy. Jonathan. Present. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Karen Elena. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Carla Patricia. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Present teacher. Es calladita hasta ahora, ¿verdad? <risa> Alguito. <risa> Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Rosy. Present teacher. David Alexander. Present teacher. Oscar Mauricio. Present teacher. Beatriz. 
Present teacher. Ok, Pacha. Allá vamos. I'm going to send you to the rooms for you to practice. There you go. Remember, practice the conversation and then answer the questions, okay? Teacher, estoy sola porque no me contesta mi compañera. No está, Beat Ay, que Beatriz está enfermita. Oh. Vamos a ver quién estaba por aquí. Olita, dice. Olita. <ríe> sí, va, ok, me la llevo entonces, Rosy. Gracias, teacher. This I have to tell me the stuff about some shar shar in the uh, schedule. I see. I saw some people in the recession when I came. Yes, I press. Esta parte me cuesta pronunciarla. Reschedule. 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 Así, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. uh, you reschedule. Yes. Reschedule some of the tomorrow. I need to talk, uh, take him some, some call in some, some minute. Anyway, anyway, how about you? Just the usual. Checking that the personal is ready and ordering the inventory. Either ordering the inventory was uh, Janet How? Okay, ahora cambiamos. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished finish it. Interviewing some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some change in the test. I see. I see. I see some people in the reception where they where I call me. Yes, I reschedule some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyway, how about you? <coughs> yes, the use to uh, just the usual checking uh, that personal is ready and ordering the inventory. I don't ordinary the inventory was Janet job. Okay. Your first. Uh, yes. <clears throat> Good morning, Marco. How is your day going? Day going? Pretty good. I just finished the interview some potential employees. Then I have to talk to the staff about some change in the schedule. I see, I sent some people in the reception when I can. Yes, again. Okay. I start again. You oh start. Okay. Ah, bueno, dale, Grace. Okay, pero yo voy a ser Marcos porque esa no la he practicado. Vaya, okay. dale, voz, dale voz con ella, Rose. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just 
Fission, finish. Finish it. Finish it. Interviewing finish. some foundation employees. Ten. I have to talk to the staff about some change in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I res reschedule. Reschedule. Mm-hmm. I rescheduled. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in so minutes. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I told ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Okay. Ahora que con quien las preguntas. Ya. Okay. Ya vamos ah, a practicar ya. Ya las tenés. Vamos, para que me ponga a veces a, a trastear. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyway, how about you? Just the usual, checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. I thought ordering the inventory was Janet's job. Okay. okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Now you can go to the question. Okay. Carolina. Okay. Puede bajar un poquito. Ay, es que no lo veo. Ahí estamos. Gracias. Okay. What kind of job does Marcos have? Primero. Okay. Sería. Como recursos humanos. Sí, quizás es parte porque. Human resources. Mm -hmm. You can discuss the questions, right? Yes. Um, the answer of the question number one, uh, podría ser, the Marcos job is, uh, ¿cómo puedo decir? Parte de recursos humanos. Part of the human resources. Part of human resources. How, how similar are the activities they me do with what you do? Y si me la comparte así como la conversación para verla. Checking. Do the usual. Así quiero. Ándale para compartir la. A ver. intentar solamente mandarle esta va esta
Dice algunas actividades similares. Uh -huh, que, que ellos hacen, pero ahí donde entiendo dice the ones, ones, ones you do. Ah, creo que son como que ellos, entre ellos dos. Quiero ver. I told on the inventor. How similar are the activities they do? Do with the ones to do. Es que ha de ser como si son similares las actividades que ellos hacen con las de nosotros, quizás, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Pero, quiero ver. How similar? ¿Cuáles son algunas actividades similares que ellos? Ajá. Pero, quiero ver. En mi caso creo que no hay ninguna, porque es que estos creo que son como The Human Resort. Ajá, en Ajá porque se nos entrevistan. Ajá, en my case, y similar make some calls. Oh, in my case is too because I... I call with clients. Uh -huh. but, I call with clients. Uh, yes, but I know interview the people. Only creo, creo que solo esa. Some calls. Okay. Solo son tres, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí. Ah, pues Vamos. como ya nos completamos, si quiero vamos a la conversación. Ajá. Bye. Pero me lo voy a buscar. Ah, ya la encontré. Uh -huh. Empieza. One minute and then I call you. Good morning, Marcos. How is your day going? Pretty good. I just finished interview, interviewing some potential employees. Then I had to talk to the staff about some changes in the schedule. I see. I saw some people in the reception when I came. Yes, I rescheduled some of them tomorrow. I need to make some calls in some minutes. Anyways, how about you? Just the usual, checking that the personnel is ready and ordering the inventory. Mm -hmm. A ver, everybody coming. Almost. Se nos han quedado perdidos. Vamos a ver. Ah, 20 seconds. Ok. Teacher. Hola. Uh, para ahora ya tiene que estar el midterm, ¿verdad? Te, eh, te... Sí, el miércoles. El miércoles tiene que estar el midterm completo. Ok. Uh -huh. Porque hoy es la sesión 9, el miércoles sería la 10. Ah, ok, thanks. Así es que tiene el día de mañana que no hay clase. 
para aprovechar de terminar. Ok, ok. Se salvan ahí, mire qué galán. <ríe> Les cayó bien cabal un día libre para extender allí. Vaya, vamos a ver. Check in. Check in the questions. A ver. What kind of job does Marcos have? What kind of job does Marcos have? He's interviewing. He's a? He is interviewing. Interviewing, but what's his job? Human resource or absorb, maybe. Mm -hmm. Can be from the human resources or probably he could be a manager, right? Or a coordinator of an area. Um, what are some of his responsibilities? Interview some potentials. People. Employees. Employees. Okay. okay, perfect. How similar, how similar are the activities they do with the ones you do? Nothing. Not similar at all. Nothing, nothing. nothing. You make it just for the calls. Make the calls. Okay. You make the calls. Uh -huh. He has to make some calls. Mm -hmm. He's right. He says, I have to make some calls in a couple of minutes. Okay. Hmm. Bueno, let's go to the next activity. But I want to take you to the presentation. Let me see. Okay. Check. As today we're talking about the present simple, and we have studied the present simple a lot. I have here a couple of exercises for you to refresh your mind a little bit, right? A ver, I'm going to give you three minutes for you to write the sentences. You, can, you have to choose between positive, negative, or question, okay? Positive, negative, or question. You have number one, he, and then you say, well, I'm going to make a positive sentence, or if, if it has, the word not, that means you have to make it negative. And if it has the question mark at the end, that means that your sentence has to be, well, it has to be a question, okay? I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to do it, and then we check together. Go ahead. Mm -hmm.
Okay, are you ready? Yes, yes. Number one. He drives to work every day. Okay. We try, he drives to work every day. Very good. He drives to work. Okay. Hmm. What about number two? I don't think so. I don't think you're right. Okay. I don't think. I don't think you're right. What about number three? Do we have enough time? Uh -huh, because it's a question, right? Do we have enough time? Yeah. Do we have enough time? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Number four? What about number four? I I eat cereal in the morning. Mm -hmm. I eat ah, pero... I eat cereal in the morning. <laughs> Aha. And the last one? Do they write emails every day? Okay. Yes. Do they write, right? Emails. No, no sería das. ¿Por qué no. das? No, porque das solo es para él y ella. Mm -hmm. Ok, ok. Gracias. Así me gusta que ustedes solitos me den la solución. Very good. Ah, vamos a ponerlo en in a different color. Back. Now, let's go to the next exercise. Check. Do the same, right? Do the same. Positive or negative? Positive or negative? Mm -hmm. You watch a lot of TV. Okay. You have a lot of TV. You have, you watch a lot of TV. Uh huh. What about this one? He doesn't read the newspaper. Mm -hmm. He doesn't read the newspaper, yeah. This one? What do you do at the weekend? Mm -hmm. Le vamos a cambiar el at y le vamos a poner on. Porque at is British y on is American, right? What do you do? On weekend. 
on weekends. What do you do on weekends? Bah. Okay, what about number nine? Yes. Mm -hmm. Con que empezamos? How does? How does? Mm -hmm. he yeah. How does? He travels to work. How does he travel to work? How does he travel to work? He takes the bus, right? Or he takes the train. What about number 10? They don't like vegetables. Mm -hmm. They don't like vegetables. Very nice. Any question here? No question? No. No, teacher. Perfect. Let's go to the last one. Este está más fácil. I'm refreshing your mind, right? Here you have to choose. This is only third person. Or not their person, but just affirmative, right? I read fairy tales or, or I read fairy tales. What's the correct one? I read fairy tales. I read fairy tales. Okay. I read fairy tales. We always tidy the room or tidy the room? We tidy the room. Tidy. Tidy. Okay. He wa me ki me come una letra. I read it does. <laughs> sí. Vaya. He wash his hands or he washes his hands. Washing. He, he washes. washes. He washes. He washes his hands. My brother can ride a horse or can ride a horse. Can. Can. Porque los modas no llevan ese, verdad? My brother can ride a horse. Remember, los modas no se les puede poner ese ni tampoco son seguidos de un verbo con ese. Okay? That's why we say my brother can ride a horse. Number 10, number 10. Well, the last one. The women sing. 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 Sing or sings? Sing. 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 Yeah, sing. sing. Very well. Habla plural, no? Sing or sings? Sing. Very well. Is women singular or plural? Singular. Are you sure? Uh, it's a plural. Uh, plural, no, plural, perdón. Plural. plural. It's a plural. plural. Uh -huh, that's plural. So I say sing or sings? Sing. Mm -hmm. Sing. The good man sings, but the women sing. Yeah. Any question here? No question. Women. Teacher. The women. women. What is the meaning of tidy? Tidy es ordenar. Do you tidy your room? Yes. Mm -hmm. That's tidy. Do you tidy your room? Yes, we tidy our room. Okay. Now. What are some everyday tasks? Check. Take a look at some common tasks of personnel at a restaurant mm -hmm. and think about that and compare it with you, right? Uh, meet the head chef to, re to review the weekly menu. Call the marketing company about professional souvenirs. Order the inventory. Talk to the staff about changes in the schedule, interview potential employees, 
check the weekly schedule. ¿Ya? How, how can you compare these activities? How similar are they to yours? Or how different are they to with yours? Are similar to your activities or are different from your activities? Very different. Very different. Okay. All of all of the activities. All the activities are different. Yes, Miss. <clears throat> I interview potential employees. You interview potential employees, Carla? Yes. Okay. Yes. That's the only thing you do from this chart. Yes. Okay, Oscar, what about you? In my my company, in my work, in my work is, is ordering in the inventory. You order the inventory? Inventory. Okay, you order the inventory. Nice, nice, nice. Anna says totally different. Totally. Yes, it is. And very, this one? Very different. And what about this one? For me, check that we can schedule. Probably, right? If you have a different schedule every day, Mm -hmm. I always go checking my schedule because the the time is if one day is different from the next one. Sometimes so we have a different uh, or a special day. Uh huh. Exactly. Exactly. A ver, a ver. Anybody has a similar activity? No more. All the others are totally different. Uh, maybe order the inventory. Order the inventory, okay, got it. <clears throat> uh -huh, uh -huh. What about the others? Sure, maybe call a marketing company and buy promotional souvenirs. Okay, okay, Yelby. Call a marketing company about promotion, pro promotional, no, promotional, promotional <laughs> souvenirs. Good, good, good. Nobody talks to the staff about changes in the schedule, no. Nobody, well, Carlita interviews potential employees. We have people in this one too, and this one, right? I check the weekly schedule. You check the weekly schedule, yeah, okay. Uh, to Talk to the staff about changes in the schedule too. You do this one, Edwin? Yes. Okay. And sometimes interview potential employees too. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So you see some of these activities, uh, these are common tasks of personnel at a restaurant, but even uh, we work in different companies, some, right, some of the tasks are kind of similar. Now, look at this. What you're going to do here is write the tasks you do <coughs> in place, right? Mm. Yeah, let's say for tasks. And then you will go ask your partner and write your partner's tasks. Okay? Vamos a ver. I'm going to let you think and write your tasks first. What are your tasks? What are your responsibilities at your workplace? Check, 
Okay, three more minutes and then I will send you in pairs for you to share with your partner. Finish, teach. Finish. Hey, nice, nice. What about the others? Everybody finished. Yeah. You already had a, a, a beginning, right? From the beginning of the class. You had an idea of that. Are you ready to go to the rooms to share with your partner? Yes. Yes, you were born ready. <clears throat> yes. Okay, perfect. There we go. I'm going to give you five minutes. Five, five minutes. Okay, teacher. Vamos a ver Adriana. Luis try to join. by a chair what you're going to do is share your information with your partner and your partner will write your information and you write your partner's information compartanse right okay teacher in my in my case i check report email mm -hmm. i make some calls to clients I supervise the still. You supervise. Supervise. Uh -huh. You supervise. Supervise the still. I schedule a monthly meeting. Mm -hmm. Okay, finish. Okay, what about uh, Carla? Carla. No, está, no está. Se fue. Se fue. <laughs> Thank you. 
uh, sort and file a document. This is the one. Documents. Mm -hmm. To record the information in the accounting book. Record. In the accounting book. Three, right report. Right, right report. Taxes. Or taxes. He declared taxes. ¿Cómo fue? Perdón. Sería commercial procedures, no sé cómo se dice. Procedures. Procedures. Commercial procedures. Commercial procedures. And you? In my case, um, prepare reports, send emails I'm done or employee, and register in the system the payments. Um, so, uh, repeat, please. First, the último. Ah, the last. Register. In the system, the payments. Register the, the payment in the system. Ah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Registering the payment. Registering the payment in the system. Register the payment. payment. ¿Qué es payment? El pago. Oh. Register okay. The payment in the system. Payment in the system. ¿Qué más? Um, make my weekend, weekend schedule. Organizar. Every, every single. Hi, hi. How, how do you say or, or can organizar? Organize. Organize. Or, organize. Everything related to the Related. Office. Everything related, related. to. Or, organi <laughs> organize. Sí. Organize everything related to the related. office. Related, related. To, related. Related to. Related to the office. To the office. Mm -hmm. Organize everything related to the office. Organize everything related okay. to the office. Mm -hmm. Next. Make a monthly report. Repeat. Make a monthly report. Okay. Make a monthly. Uh -huh. A monthly report. Report. Yeah. Make a monthly report. Ok, este, bueno, yo le di tres, no sé si darle la cuarta y usted me da la cuarta también. Bye. Ok, ahorita se la mando. Tranquilo. Inventory of the Companies assets. Teacher, uh, I have to inventory, uh, but no, no assets. Because, uh, for example, cars, uh, computers, uh, uh, to, todos los muebles, carros de la compañía, pero no de todo, solo del proyecto. Ah, okay. Then you can say uh, 
order the inventory of the projects. Order uh... mm -hmm. the inventory of the projects. Nos vamos. Hello. A ver, I would like to listen a couple of volunteers. Volunteers, only couple. A ver, Oscar. Okay. In, in my cuadro. Mm -hmm. Is every day the company uh, number one is checking the camera. The camera. The, the camera. The camera. Mm -hmm. The camera checking the camera. Okay. The company checking in the box. Uh, checking the. Checking the mercury. Right? Check and the merchandise. Check and the bill. Okay. Estuve con con Mauricio también. Okay, Luis Mauricio, tell me. Okay, teacher. Uh, in my Workplace is a uh, the first the first activity or task is a uh, I I don't know how do you say a uh, desactivar but I use desactivate the the alarm In <laughs> inactivate inactivate okay inactivate inactivate the alarm okay then. Then is turning on uh, the ofimatics. Mm -hmm. Then uh, write the the report. Then is uh, when when I finish the writing report, I check it the temperature. Uh, the uh, how do you say of the employees employees uh -huh. the cleaning or organizing of uh, the I don't remember you say uh, mostrado <laughs> mm, the deck deck mm -hmm. <laughs> okay thank you uh, check the the all decks for the for the pharmacy. Okay. Uh huh. And attend a client. Okay. And another activity is but it's a low low list. <laughs> okay, very good. I imagine, of course, the activities that you have to do are not just four. <laughs> there are many. <laughs> Many, 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 right? Okay, I'm going to let you working here in this exercise. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Here, this is the last thing we will do. You have exactly 10 minutes. And you're going to write a five line paragraph. Check it, paragraph. No isolated sentences, right? It's a paragraph. Write a five line paragraph about the tasks your boss or a colleague does in your workplace. O sea que vamos a usar la third person singular, right? Because you're going to tell me about your boss or a colleague. Y si no se acuerda de ello, me escribe del compañero que le acaba de decir allí, ¿verdad? Pero acá lo vamos a escribir con terceras personas. Ok. 
So if you say, for example, my boss. Interviews. In okay. my, <laughs> my boss interviews the new employees. Como es para paragraph, nos vamos a ir punto y seguido, no punto y aparte, ok. She organizes. Tasquetos. Mm. Okay, she organizes the schedules uh, for each week, we can say, right? Okay. Y seguimos, right? Entonces, eh, como se trata de un párrafo, terminamos y vamos punto y seguido, no punto y aparte. ¿Ok? Punto y seguido. And when you finish, you can share, right?
to make me laugh there. Okay, I'm going to call your attendance while you finish. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. <clears throat> Analicia. Present teacher. Carolina. Present teacher. Claudia Carolina. Present teacher. Diego. Present. Edwin. Present teacher. Elvin. Present teacher. Grace. Grace Michelle, la perdimos. Joanna. Jonathan. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Karen. Present teacher. Karen Elena. <laughs> Yes. Karen, Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Present teacher. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Luis Edgardo. Luis Edgardo. Luis Mauricio. Teacher, a mí no me mencionó. Carla Patricia. Yes. Espéreme, espéreme. O sea, no, no, no logró escuchar Carla Patricia porque hay un micrófono abierto. Bye. Este, Carla Patricia. Sí. Iba por Karen Elena, Karen Janet. Karen Stephanie, Carla Lorena, Carla Patricia. Carla Patricia. Present. Luis Edgardo. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Luis Edgardo. Nota. Go to the party. Eh, <laughs> Mauricio. Disculpe, a mí quizás no me mencionó, licenciada. Es que Jonathan. El... No me oyen ustedes. ¿A mí? Sí, lo llamé, pero estaba, estaba de par ah. también. Ahí andaba en la pari pari. Nubia. No. <ríe> Present. <ríe> Present, Nubia. No, a Oscar no lo he llamado, Jonathan. No, ah, bueno. No, todavía no, Oscar. Allí lo estaba mirando, no sé por qué. Eh, Rosa Hilda. no se ha ido Present a la pari pari como dice Mauricio David Present teacher. Oscar Present. Beatriz Beatriz no está Beatriz vaya aquí estamos I want to hear one of you who will be my volunteer volunteer Victim big, big Mauricio, Luis Mauricio, porque ya estaba muy callado. Ok. <laughs> ok, in my workplace, my partners attend the clients, clean the counter, take the take the notes for the 
for the uh, medicines mm -hmm. and they uh, clean in the, the workplace. Okay. For all workplace. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Luis Mauricio. Just You're one welcome. more volunteer or victim. Volunteer victim. victim. <laughs> Una Carla. Yes. <laughs> Carla Patricia. It's perfect. <laughs> Carla Patricia. <clears throat> Carla Patricia. No está Carla Patricia. No está. Vamos a ver. Edwin. Edwin Mauricio. Here I am. Uh -huh. Well, my boss, my boss uh, approved monthly payments for the builder uh -huh. and represents the company and the project owner. And he elaborates special reports and coordinates weekly meetings and special meetings. Okay, nice, nice. Thank you, Edwin, thank you very much. Well, it's about time, Joana, no está Joana. ¿Quién se quiere quedar en vez de Joana? De los que, de los que todavía no han pasado, ¿no eh? Tenemos a Jonathan que le toca el miércoles, José Alfredo el jueves, Karen Elena el viernes, Karen Janet el lunes, Karen Estefan el martes, volunteer. Martes 17, ¿verdad, Ticho? Sí. El martes, el martes 17. Así como la, como la realeza, le voy a decir adiós. No, sí, Karen Janet, sí, claro. Claro que sí. Ok. Happy Mother. Thank you. Happy Mother to all. A happy to good time. Thank you very Thank much, you Oscar. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 You see Bye. you. A dormir. <laughs> okay, Karen, ¿qué me cuentas? Teacher, teacher, I just have a question. Eh, uh -huh. ¿Será que puede, podemos revisar si hice la plataforma en el correo correcto? Uh -huh. Por favorcito. Veamos, veamos, veamos. Solo que cargue porque estaba de alumna. Andaba, okay. andaba guachando aquí. Okay, que de okay. repente me dicen, este ejercicio está raro, pero es también bonito, es también fácil. Adriana, uh, sí. ¿Sí? Sí. ¿Bien? Sí. Ah, va. Estamos bien, entonces gracias, Vamos. teacher. Bueno. Justamente Diego le iba a preguntar lo mismo, pero creo que se durmió. Eh, oh, ¿Y quién? Diego. 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 Sí. Es que Diego solo tiene una cuenta. La sí. otra se le borró. Sí. Solo una tiene, igual que, que, Bea, que Carolina. Ah, ok. Ok, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Hey. Good night. Bye. Happy Mother's Bye. Day. Bye. 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 Celebration. Yeah. Bye. 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 <laughs> See you. Bye. Bye. Ok, y señorita Karen. Hi, teacher. <laughs> How Bye. are you? Ay. Ay, teacher. Bye. Para ser sincera. Hoy lo que siento que me está costando es, ¿cómo se llama? Ser más fluida para poder hablar. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Uy, pero a ver qué dice aquí. Este, ay, no sé. <ríe> Porque Bye. le estaba comentando yo a mis compañeros que yo, para serles sincera, para hablarlo, lo hablo como en el español, entonces como que voy este, armando así las palabras, pero en español, y se lo digo así en inglés, pero no es la forma correcta en cómo tendría que decirse. 
Uh -huh. Vaya, pero ahí lo que a usted le puede ayudar, ¿verdad? Porque cuando se trata de speaking, lo que le ayuda es bastante es listening. Ahí tiene que hacer ejercicios de listening. Oír música en inglés, ver alguna serie o algo que a usted le guste ver en la tele en inglés. Los audios que están en, en, en el manual, hay dos videos, dos audios en todas las lecciones. Entonces, meterse a oír eso. Entre más usted ande oyendo, se va a andar metiendo más el idioma a la cabeza. Para que hasta que llegue un momento en que usted va a empezar a pensar en inglés. Y eso le va a ayudar a, a facilitar más la, la coordinación de las oraciones. Pero sí, tiene que exponerse un poquito más al idioma. ¿Verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ese, sí, ese creo que es mi problemita. <risa> sí, ese es el... Porque, perdón, porque siempre eh, va, escribimos algo y de pronto, cabal, usted nos tiene que rectificar porque lo hemos escrito mal, no en el orden correcto. Yo digo, ay, Dios mío, ¿y en qué momento? No, pero eso es normal. Eso es normal. Ahí no tiene usted que sentirse, uy, me equivoqué otra vez. No. Pues de que le da igual. Ah, se equivocó, va, ok, chivo. Ah, vaya, entonces aquí es así. Pero no lo tome así como que, ay, no, y me volví a equivocar, porque entonces eso le afecta emocionalmente. Uh -huh. Equivocarse es normal. Cuando uno está aprendiendo un idioma, eso es lo más normal del mundo. O sea, usted no lo tome como, ay, no, y me voy a volver a equivocar. Porque uh -huh. si sí, usted le está mandando un mal mensaje a su cerebro. Entonces, el cerebro tiene miedo de coordinar y de ponerse a inventar y crear oraciones porque ya va pensando en me voy a equivocar. Uh -huh. Entonces, no. Y lo mismo pasa cuando usted habla que si ya va pensando en que se va a equivocar, entonces eso le complica más todavía. Entonces, no, usted, ay, de, si se equivoca, no importa. Lo importante es que usted está produciendo el idioma. Entonces, eso Ajá. es lo que usted tiene que ver. Yo he visto que va, el adelante es que, vaya, para escribirlo, eh, digamos que sí, ¿verdad? Varias palabras, yo sí puedo, ¿no? A me acuerdo o si no busco ayuda y este hay la pronunciación que nos ayudó usted bastante pero ya vi que mi problema es que como no lo hablo no lo practico es el temor a poderme expresar eso es todo pero, si pero no no no, no usted no se preocupe y no piense no piense en que se va a equivocar porque le está mandando un mal un mal mensaje a su cerebro y es el hecho de, ups, me voy a equivocar, ahí no, mejor no lo intento porque me voy a equivocar. Entonces, no, usted hable, ve, y si se equivoca, ¿y qué? Pues todos estamos aprendiendo. Entonces, okay. nadie le va a decir, ¡Eh! Karen se equivocó. No, nadie. Porque todos estamos aprendiendo. Mi trabajo es ayudarles y corregirles, ¿verdad? Ah, okay. Pero en ningún momento tiene usted que sentirse mal porque se equivocó. Eso es parte del proceso de aprendizaje, es normal, es lo más normal del mundo. Mire, yo prefiero que se equivoquen haciendo las cosas y no que no se equivoquen porque no las hacen. Ajá. Uh -huh, no sé y me explico. Entonces, el, el equivocarse es parte del proceso de, de aprendizaje. Porque cuando usted se equivoca, me permite ayudarle y corregirle. Entonces uno tiende como a recordar más aquello en qué es lo que, que se equivocó y que se lo corrigieron que lo que escribió correctamente a la primera. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Entonces usted no se sienta mal de que se equivoca. No, 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 nada que ver, ¿verdad? Nada que ver, ve y hoy que me acordó de eso, les voy a compartir un link que me hallé, que está bien bonito para que, para que ustedes practiquen en sus Ay, ratitos, en ah, sus okay. ratitos. Vamos a aprovechar, es. tenemos a sueco. <risa> sí, en sus ratitos. En, el, en WhatsApp lo va a compartir, sí. Sí, ahí en el WhatsApp se lo voy a poner. Es que esta página me gusta, es bien, es bien bonita, es, es bien, 
es bien amigable, le da, le da la explicación, le da ejemplos, eh, después le da ejercicios, puede ver en qué se equivocó en el ejercicio, entonces todo se lo facilita y eso les ayuda a exponerse un poquito más al idioma, a ustedes, ¿verdad? Ajá. Entonces les da así como un extra fuera de, de clase para que aprovechando, por ejemplo, mañana que tienen libre, pueden aprovechar un ratito para sentarse y hacer su ejercicio, ¿verdad? Claro que sí. Uh -huh. Sí, Así es que sí, sí usted sí. No, no, no se tiene que sentir mal en ningún momento, que si se equivoca, y qué. <risa> es que ahorita, ¿cómo le puedo decir? Como lo que me detiene a avanzar es esto, de que no lo puedo hablar, como que, ay, por ejemplo, que veo que Joana, ella sí definitivamente lo habla bien, se entiende perfectamente con usted, en cambio veo en el caso de Ani, como hace el esfuerzo, pero ella, o sea, lo hace y, y se esfuerza por hablar. Entonces digo yo, ella, así tendría que ser yo, digo yo, pero ahí es donde me detengo. No, no, no. Y pregunte. Usted ya sabe, a mí me gusta que me pregunten. Es que yo de estudiante yo pregunto mucho. Uh -huh. Entonces a mí no me molesta que ustedes me pregunten, porque en la medida que ustedes preguntan, póngale que uno puede pensar, no, pero este tema es bien fácil, ya lo van a agarrar. Y tal vez a ustedes les cuesta. Y hay Ajá. temas en que uno dice, este tema es bien difícil. Y lo agarran bien rápido. Entonces, eh, ahí si usted tiene una pregunta, ahí levante la mano, pregúnteme. No se sienta con pena. Oye, que para eso estamos, para ayudarles. Ok, thank you, teacher. Claro que sí. Te agradezco claro. mucho. Ya me conoce, así es que ya pena. <ríe> No, créame que no, de tener pena no solo es, es que siento que es ya mi problemita, pero... Sí, Ay, pero busque ponerme. eso, busque ver los videos, hacer los ejercicios, exponerse un poquitito más al idioma y va a ver que eso le va a ir ayudando. Ok, sí, uh -huh. le agradezco mucho entonces. Pues sí, verdad, pase feliz noche y mañana que la pase bonito y que la consienta mucho. Gracias, gracias. <risa> Usted no es mami. Todo. No. no, todavía no. Ah, bueno, pues entonces a celebrar con la suya, vea. Exacto. Vaya, pues. Vaya, gracias. pues. Bueno, bueno. Bye, bye. Have a nice night. And see you sí. Wednesday. See you okay. Wednesday. Ay, no me Bye.